Android 4.1 Jelly Bean is coming. But what about those of you who just don't want to wait? I'm Joe Levi. This is Pocket Now. That's what we're going to talk about on today's episode of the Android Guy Weekly. Other than a very few devices, you're not going to see Jelly Bean on, well, any phones or tablets. Not officially, anyway. Officially, you might be able to see it on some Galaxy Nexus. You might see it on some Galaxy 7s, the new 7-inch tablet from Google. That's about it. Unofficially, however, there are a few more devices that you can see it on. Particularly, Galaxy Nexus that didn't come with it already installed or didn't get it OTA. For example, me. I've got it running on mine. Works just great. There are some uh, rough edges, let's call them. Google was up front and they said this is a developer preview release. And that it is. To top that all off, I also then have it kind of hacked and slashed and cooked and... It's not official. Let's just put it that way. So what can you do to get ready? Well, there are really two things. Number one, well, two things to consider, not two steps. Number one, do you want to root your phone and get a custom ROM? If you've already done that, great, you're in the second group. If not, then you may want to consider waiting. If you've got one of well, the newer phones, I'll leave that up to your imagination. If you do or not, you might want to hold out for an update from your manufacturer or your carrier to get Jelly Bean on your phone. If you're in that second group, you have already you know, rooted, you've already unlocked your phone, all of that fun stuff, then why not go ahead and get a custom ROM if there's one available. If there's not, there will be. If you're in the first group, now is a good chance for you to kind of jump over that fence. You don't have to do it right away. So for example, you could go ahead and unlock and root your phone and continue to run the ROM that you've got on it just fine. Be advised, some unlocking procedures do wipe your phone. So bear that in mind before continuing. But go ahead and get the foundation all laid so that you can flash a ROM when it comes out. Cyanogen Mod 10, no, it's not going to be 9.1. CM10 is going to be Jelly Bean. Now, Jelly Bean hasn't been released to the AOSP yet, so you're not going to get it from the AOSP yet. Cyanogen Mod is an AOSP distro. They can't even start on it until probably mid-July. That's the date that Google threw around when they were announcing Jelly Bean. Everybody else, you've got ports. Ports either from the... Uh, the SDK, the emulator, don't do that one. That's bad. It's an emulator. It's bad. You don't want that one. Okay, <clears throat> and then moving right along, you've got stuff that's been converted from the OTA updates. The OTA, or over-the-air updates, have been coming down to the devices that came out at Google I.O., and then they've been modified and ported to various other devices. Right now, the first devices they started with, of course, are, are Galaxy Nexus, like I have, that aren't running the special version of Ice Cream Sandwich that came out at Google I.O. So you can't just do an in-place, over-the-air update or a kind of a patchwork update. You've got to do some other stuff. So I've got a Deodex pre-rooted, all that fun stuff that I showed you how to do on the video. It works great. That's going to be coming to your phone in all likelihood. Again, if it's a recent and more popular phone. All you've got to do is keep your eye out on Pocket Now. We'll tell you when there's new stuff coming out, and you can go ahead and do that. I know that's two options, but there's a third. The third option is stick with what you've got. What do I mean by that? You still want Jelly Bean features and functionality, but without the entire operating system on your phone, you can get bits and pieces of the operating system, like the, uh, the Google Now. You can get that. You can get updated keyboards. You might even be able to get an updated launcher. You just have to wait for someone to rip it out, make it work on your OS, and release it, whether that's through XDA developers, RootsWiki, or through an official distribution in the Play Store. Again, watch pocketnow.com. As those come up, we will give you links and instructions on what you need to do to get those bits and pieces from Jelly Bean running on your non-Jelly Bean phone. 
There you go. If you've got questions, head over to pocketnow.com. Make sure you leave them down in the comments. And everybody who has an answer to that question, a viable one, go ahead and answer back and participate. I'll be doing that as well so we can get the questions that you have answered as quickly as possible. One question I'll answer right up front. When is CM10 coming out? I'm going to give you their answer when it's ready. For Pocket Now, talking jelly bean, I'm Joe Levi.